All right, so we're here at Mir, and this is the shelter where you stay at. So pretty cool, you just find a bunk, throw your sleeping bag down. Save a bag, throw your cookies in. Okay. If you're watching this or anybody else, this is just incredible. That's Mount Rainier right there. And we're headed up to Camp Mirror right now. It's about 4.45 a.m. And we started uh, about 1 a.m. this morning from the Paradise parking lot. Just beautiful morning. Hope it stays like this for tomorrow morning. We'll try to summit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I 
did something in my new plan. Pickleball, though, last week. I, mm -hmm. I got to give up this pickleball, man. Yeah, my knee's still wrapped right now. You see it. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, I'm going to charge my phone. I'm going to make sure I have enough batteries. And I'm just going to go into um, offline mode. Spencer said he wants to use that. As soon as I can, I'll give you an update. Two bags we're back at Camp Air again. But at least you know my updated plan. And tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yeah, because I mean we're gonna start the trek up at midnight. Uh, there were some. I don't know if they're here yet. Oh, they might already be here. Yeah. But I think we should be good. We got our spot. I'm just gonna, because there's gear shelves in there. So oh, I'm oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Reserved. Reserved. All right, so we're here at Mir, and this is the shelter where you stay at. So pretty cool. You just find a bunk, start your sleeping bag down. It's Memorial Day weekend, so it's probably gonna get really busy. But we've got our spot all reserved. Got gear shelves over here. We came up last night about midnight. At one o'clock in the morning we started coming up and got here about probably 7.30ish, 8ish. So if you step out here, there's the objective. There's Aaron. So we're gonna be taking this trail all the way along here, goes up, up there, and then gets on top of the Ingraham Glacier. We'll be taking the Ingraham direct route. And if we come out on this side, you can see you got the ranger cabin, and you got the guide cabin down there. The outhouses. And that's the backyard. Baker. Mount St. Helens. Oh yeah, sorry. Adams. Mount St. Helens. Baker's all the way that way. Long way. We can't see uh can't see Hood. Hood must be behind Adams. Yeah. It's gonna be a good climb. You're gonna leave tonight about probably leave tonight about midnight. I'm gonna try and get all the way. All the way to the summit sometime between seven and nine. So, all right, go go some. Gonna eat, eat a, gonna go eat second dinner and then go get some sleep.
beautiful. Just stopping for a quick water break and a little more fuel before our last push to the summit. 
Just back away from the snow bridge here just a little bit. Still pretty filled in since we're doing May climbing. How you doing, Grant? Got your snack? Nope. Into the false summit. Gotta go to the true summit. We are close. Grant with his million GoPro batteries. <laughs> so if you need one. <laughs> Professional filmmaker status over there. We are we're on camera. At the crater of Mount Rainier. We're gonna go tag the tree summit just over there. This is what the crater looks like. We're on the final 100 vertical feet or so. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little bit of steam vents up here, so still active volcano. And we're heading up just right up there. Be there in like five minutes. Close. Yes, you are. I can't believe you did that. You able to do That's that. That's nice. I don't know what it is because I got that pretty bad circulation problems too. Like every time I stop, feet and hands are tingling. But it doesn't affect the worm. Huh. There's the way we came down from. What do you say? We ditched our packs too. We ditched our packs as well. Yep. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's breathtaking besides the altitude. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Touched us. 
forward point. some dedication. <sighs> so what's the true summit? Is it that? Okay. I was gonna say, is it that? Is it that? Because I, I don't want to expend any more energy than I have to. But at the same time, I don't want to miss it either. Can you imagine making it all this way and be like, oh, oh sorry. Was... Sorry, you were a hundred feet away from the actual hump that was the summit. I better go over there too. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna run around all these really quick. guy down there. <laughs> Maybe 
There's Mount Adams over there. Mount St. Helens. Oh, and in between them is Mount Hood. Here's our team. Aaron, looking at the camera, and Justin. He's playing video games. I am playing video games. Playing Tetris on my phone. Very nice. It's the only thing you can do when you're up here this high. Well, you know, we're kind of bored at the moment. Oh, this one's for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. So awesome. We've got St. Helens. We got Adams. And then right next to it, we got Hood. And then, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but way back, just to the right of Hood, we've got Jefferson. That's pretty cool. What else can we see around here? That's probably Glacier. Oh, up there is probably Glacier Peak. Oh, yeah. Is that all thing? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We're going to lay down some real shade here. Can you tell where we're at? Attitude like. Summit of the Yeah, Glacier. Yeah, I saw that one and said, no thanks. That little guy down there. right around 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. You know, we started at about midnight to get here from Camp Muir. Yes, sir. Good day. Snow versus gravity. <sighs> yeah, make sure you, when you get to where I'm standing, make sure you turn your head and point it that way. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that's incredible right there. Just amazing. So deadly. So dead. I'm like so amazing. Aaron's like so deadly. Amazingly deadly. All right, so we got Aaron in front, Grant in the middle, crevasses on the side. Snow bridges to cross, which is why we're roped up. Yep, you don't want to fall in there. So we generally keep 10 minus the number of people 
on the team is the number of arm lengths the way you want. So we're running seven arm lengths. The larger the team, the closer you can be. And that's just to help if you do fall, you have more dynamic rope stretch, you have more time to arrest the fall. So Aaron's job is from the front is to route find. And so he's got an important job because he needs to watch out for snow bridges, test them. He has to make sure we're on the right route. And he also sets the pace. Grant's job is to help keep the rope even there. Make sure that Aaron's rope in front doesn't have too much slack where it cause a higher factor fall. And my job is to keep Grant's rope from having too much slack. And then I pretty much follow whatever the pace Grant and Aaron set. Usually the people in the front and the people in the back are gonna have most of the rescue gear. So there's a bridge, we're gonna get over that quickly. And here's another bridge here. Clear. Clear. Yeah. And that's because Typically, if you have a fall, if someone, if you have a fall somewhere on the rope team, if you have gear either in the front or the back, it doesn't matter who falls, you can always get to them and get them out of there. So we're just coming down on the Ingraham Direct Glacier now. Summited about, ooh, I don't know. It's about 7.38 this morning. Can't ask for better conditions. The wind was calm. It's just been a great day so far. We are doing the Ingraham direct route, which is still open because it is the end of May, but they've had an early melt. So this route might typically be open into mid-June, maybe the third week of June. And then you're going to be having a lot of route finding issues and a lot of people will switch to the cleaver route which is to our left um, but the ingraham direct route shaves a mile off your total route so we end up doing that beautiful nope just goes and goes and goes If you fall down there, it's hasta la bye bye. Yeah. Clear. Clear. Yeah. 